Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Adams, and it's my pleasure to be here with my co-author, Dr. David Sieber, and we're going to introduce you to this September ASJ publication called What's Your Micromort? A Patient-Oriented Analysis of Breast Implant, Anaplastic, Large Cell Lymphoma. This is a, a really interesting article that, that we got involved with of really kind of coming up with ways that surgeons and patients can really frame what exactly is, is BIA, ALCL, and how they can put things into perspective. So Dave, uh, you know, there are several things I think in this article that, that are really interesting. One is just the analysis of how many breast implants are really out there globally. Tell us a little bit more about that. So we looked at the most current statistics from ISAPs, ASPS, and ASAPs. And although the numbers were a little different between the three organizations, when you looked at it globally, they ended up correlating pretty nicely. And what we found was that looking at it conservatively, there's probably at least 30 million women with breast implants uh, currently in place worldwide. So you're saying that 30 million women probably 60 million implants if, if most women have two implants, correct? Yeah, that's exactly right. And that doesn't account for any of the reconstructions done either. And I think that's really important because that's really the denominator when we talk about these things. And typically you'll hear people talk about their seven to eight million implants globally. And I think that, that grossly underestimates it. And then we did this thing called a micromort analysis. So Dave, what What's, what is a micromort? Yeah, micromort's really interesting. And basically what it is, it's your risk of dying from a specific event. So one micromort is one in a million chance of dying from doing something. And this was originally set up to do risk analysis for uh, not only dangerous activities like mountaineering or skydiving, but also for everyday things like living in New York City and smoking and uh, other activities such as that. What we found was that the micromort risk for BIA ALCL was 0.4. And when you look at that compared to other everyday activities such as skiing one day in the United States, which is one micromort, or riding a bike for 17 miles is also another micromort. So these things we do all the time are much riskier behaviors and events than having breast implants. Now I think another thing from this analysis, Dave, that is very useful is that I think the media has picked up on some things that is really a lot of misinformation for patients and this this will help, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. The main point of this article is to really re-educate patients on the reality of having textured breast implants and being able to give them everyday activities that they can compare the micromort risk is gonna be extraordinarily helpful. I think the final thing in this study that that is uh, important is that there has been a lot of researchers that believe that the current classification of BIALCL is inaccurate. It's not really a lymphoma. In fact, most of the, the cases have just cells in the fluid without any other um, cells seen in the capsule or anywhere else. Most people feel like this is a lymphoproliferative disorder. There's a great study, probably the Sentinel study uh, done by Dr. Marshall Caden, published in ASJ, which again shows BIALCL is very similar to primary cutaneous ALCL, which is a lymphoproliferative disorder. So. This study is just additional data. You know, again, lymphoproliferative disorders behave as this shows with, with very low mortality in patients even who have the, the diagnosis. So again, this study would support that movement to reclassify this entity as a lymphoproliferative disorder. So, you know, we hope you enjoy reading this article. We enjoy doing it and hopefully it'll allow you to connect and communicate and educate your patients better when discussing this disease with potential breast implant patients.